How advanced are your listening skills? Today we have 10 questions for you to check it out. Today's topic is all about the environment and the way it goes is listen to the question, listen to the dialogue, answer the question and then we'll show you the answer. Don't forget to check out the free ebook in the description. It has all of the exercises from today with two questions, not one, two questions and a dictionary for you for all the difficult words in each practice. Let's get into it. Topic 11 is wildlife conservation efforts. And the question is, how do protected areas contribute to wildlife conservation? Wildlife conservation efforts are crucial in protecting endangered species and preserving biodiversity. Human activities such as habitat destruction, pollution and overhunting have led to a decline in many wildlife populations. Conservation efforts include establishing protected areas like national parks and wildlife reserves, enforcing anti-poaching laws and running breeding programs for endangered species. Educating the public about the importance of wildlife and biodiversity is also a key component. These efforts help maintain ecological balance and ensure that future generations can enjoy and benefit from a rich and diverse natural world. Wildlife conservation is not only about protecting animals, it's about preserving the health of our planet. And the question once again. How do protected areas contribute to wildlife conservation? Here are some possible answers. Try to answer the question now. Let's go and find the answer. Wildlife conservation efforts are crucial in protecting endangered species and preserving biodiversity. Human activities such as habitat destruction, pollution and overhunting have led to a decline in many wildlife populations. Conservation efforts include establishing protected areas like national parks and wildlife reserves, enforcing anti-poaching laws and running breeding programs for endangered species. Educating the public about the importance of wildlife and biodiversity is also a key component. These efforts help maintain ecological balance and ensure that future generations can enjoy and benefit from a rich and diverse natural world. Wildlife conservation is not only about protecting animals, it's about preserving the health of our planet. Let's go to the next topic. The next topic is air quality and health. And the question is, who is most affected by a poor air quality? Air quality significantly impacts human health and the environment. Poor air quality, often resulting from emissions from vehicles, industrial processes and other sources of pollution, can lead to respiratory diseases, heart conditions and other health problems. Fine particulate matter and noxious gases in polluted air can penetrate deep into the lungs and bloodstream, causing long-term health issues. Children, the elderly and those with pre-existing health conditions are particularly vulnerable. Improving air quality involves reducing emissions, using cleaner fuels and energy sources and implementing air quality standards. Cleaner air not only benefits human health but also contributes to ecological balance by reducing the acidity of rainwater and improving visibility. And the question one more time. Who is most affected by poor quality air? Here are some possible answers. Try to answer the question now. Let's go and find the answer. Air quality significantly impacts human health and the environment. Poor air quality, often resulting from emissions from vehicles, industrial processes and other sources of pollution, can lead to respiratory diseases, heart conditions and other health problems. Fine particulate matter and noxious gases in polluted air can penetrate deep into the lungs and bloodstream, causing long-term health issues. Children the elderly and those with pre-existing health conditions are particularly vulnerable. 
Improving air quality involves reducing emissions, using cleaner fuels and energy sources, and implementing air quality standards. Cleaner air not only benefits human health, but also contributes to ecological balance by reducing the acidity of rainwater and improving visibility. Let's go to the next topic. The next topic is eco-friendly products. And the question is, why are eco-friendly products important? Eco-friendly products are designed to be environmentally sustainable, causing minimal harm to the planet. These products are often made from recycled materials or from renewable resources that can be replenished quickly. They are also designed to be durable, reducing the need for frequent replacements and minimizing waste. By choosing eco-friendly products, consumers can reduce their carbon footprint, conserve natural resources and support sustainable practices. Such products include biodegradable cleaning agents, reusable bags, solar-powered devices and organic food items. The shift towards eco-friendly products reflects a growing awareness of environmental issues and a commitment to a healthier, more sustainable lifestyle. And the question one more time. Why are eco-friendly products important? Here are some possible answers. Try to answer the question now. Let's go and find the answer. Eco-friendly products are designed to be environmentally sustainable, causing minimal harm to the planet. These products are often made from recycled materials or from renewable resources that can be replenished quickly. They are also designed to be durable, reducing the need for frequent replacements and minimizing waste. By choosing eco-friendly products, consumers can reduce their carbon footprint, conserve natural resources, and support sustainable practices. Such products include biodegradable cleaning agents, reusable bags, solar-powered devices, and organic food items. The shift towards eco-friendly products reflects a growing awareness of environmental issues and a commitment to a healthier, more sustainable lifestyle. Let's go to the next topic. The next topic is plastic waste management. And the question is, what is a key aspect of plastic waste management? Plastic waste management is crucial in addressing the environmental challenges posed by widespread plastic use. Effective management includes reducing plastic use, recycling and developing biodegradable alternatives. Large amounts of plastic waste end up in landfills and oceans, causing pollution and harming wildlife. Recycling plastic can significantly reduce its presence in the environment. Innovations in biodegradable plastics offer promising alternatives that break down more quickly and with less environmental impact. Education and policy changes are also vital in promoting responsible plastic use and disposal. By managing plastic waste effectively, we can mitigate its negative effects on ecosystems and public health. And the question one more time. What is a key aspect of plastic waste management? Here are some possible answers. Try to answer the question now. Let's go and find the answer. Plastic waste management is crucial in addressing the environmental challenges posed by widespread plastic use. Effective management includes reducing plastic use, recycling and developing biodegradable alternatives. Large amounts of plastic waste end up in landfills and oceans, causing pollution and harming wildlife. Recycling plastic can significantly reduce its presence in the environment. Innovations in biodegradable plastics offer promising alternatives that break down more quickly and with less environmental impact. Education and policy changes are also vital in promoting responsible plastic use and disposal. By managing plastic waste effectively, 
we can mitigate its negative effects on ecosystems and public health. Let's go to the next topic. And the next topic is global warming mitigation. And the question is, how does reforestation contribute to global warming mitigation? Global warming mitigation involves strategies and actions aimed at reducing the causes of global warming, primarily greenhouse gas emissions. This includes transitioning to renewable energy sources like solar and wind power, improving energy efficiency in buildings and transportation, and promoting sustainable agriculture and forestry practices. Reforestation and deforestation can also help absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, in addition, developing carbon capture technologies and reducing methane emissions from industries are important steps. These efforts are crucial to limit the increase in global temperatures, thereby reducing the risk of severe climate impacts such as extreme weather events, sea level rises and loss of biodiversity. And the question one more time. How does reforestation contribute to global warming mitigation? Here are some possible answers. Try to answer the question now. Let's go and find the answer. Global warming mitigation involves strategies and actions aimed at reducing the causes of global warming, primarily greenhouse gas emissions. This includes transitioning to renewable energy sources like solar and wind power, improving energy efficiency in buildings and transportation, and promoting sustainable agriculture and forestry practices. Reforestation and deforestation can also help absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, in addition, developing carbon capture technologies and reducing methane emissions from industries are important steps. These efforts are crucial to limit the increase in global temperatures, thereby reducing the risk of severe climate impacts such as extreme weather events, sea level rises and loss of biodiversity. Let's go to the next topic. The next topic is the role of trees in the environment. And the question is, what is an environmental benefit of trees in urban areas? Trees play a vital role in maintaining environmental balance. They act as natural air filters, absorbing pollutants and emitting oxygen. Trees also contribute to climate regulation by storing carbon dioxide, a major greenhouse gas. In urban areas, trees provide shade, reducing the urban heat island effect and helping conserve energy. They support biodiversity by providing habitats for various wildlife species. Moreover, trees help prevent soil erosion and improve water quality by filtering harmful substances. Planting and preserving trees is essential for sustaining the health of our planet. They not only beautify our surroundings, but also provide essential ecological services crucial for life. And the question again, what is an environmental benefit of trees in urban areas? Here are some possible answers. Try to answer the question now. Let's go and find the answer. Trees play a vital role in maintaining environmental balance. They act as natural air filters, absorbing pollutants and emitting oxygen. Trees also contribute to climate regulation by storing carbon dioxide, a major greenhouse gas. In urban areas, trees provide shade, reducing the urban heat island effect and helping conserve energy. They support biodiversity by providing habitats for various wildlife species. Moreover, trees help prevent soil erosion and improve water quality by filtering harmful substances. Planting and preserving trees is essential for sustaining the health of our planet. 
They not only beautify our surroundings, but also provide essential ecological services crucial for life. Let's go to the next topic. The topic is green building design. And the question is, how do green roofs contribute to sustainable building? Green building design integrates various sustainable practices to minimize the environmental impact of buildings. This approach focuses on energy efficiency, use of renewable energy and conservation of water. Materials used in green buildings are often recycled or sourced sustainably. These buildings also incorporate features like efficient insulation, solar panels and green roofs which help in reducing energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. Green buildings are designed to coexist harmoniously with the natural environment, often including elements that support biodiversity, like gardens or habitats for local wildlife. By adopting green building practices, we can significantly reduce the ecological footprint of our built environment and promote a sustainable future. And that question once again is, how do green roofs contribute to sustainable building? Here are some possible answers. Try to answer the question now. Let's go find the answer. Green building design integrates various sustainable practices to minimize the environmental impact of buildings. This approach focuses on energy efficiency, use of renewable energy and conservation of water. Materials used in green buildings are often recycled or sourced sustainably. These buildings also incorporate features like efficient insulation, solar panels and green roofs which help in reducing energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. Green buildings are designed to coexist harmoniously with the natural environment, often including elements that support biodiversity, like gardens or habitats for local wildlife. By adopting green building practices, we can significantly reduce the ecological footprint of our built environment and promote a sustainable future. Let's go to the next topic. The next topic is the impact of fast fashion. And the question is, how can consumers reduce the impact of fast fashion? Fast fashion refers to the rapid production of inexpensive clothing to keep up with the latest trends. While it allows consumers to buy trendy clothes at low prices, it has significant environmental consequences. The fast fashion industry is a major contributor to water pollution, textile waste and greenhouse gas emissions. The production process often involves toxic chemicals that can harm aquatic life and human health. Additionally, the quick turnaround of fashion trends leads to a high turnover of clothing, resulting in massive amounts of textile waste. Sustainable fashion practices, such as choosing quality over quantity, recycling garments, and supporting brands that use eco-friendly production methods, are essential steps toward mitigating the environmental impact of fast fashion. And the question one more time, how can consumers reduce the impact of fast fashion? Here are some possible answers. Try to answer the question now. Let's go and find the answer. Fast fashion refers to the rapid production of inexpensive clothing to keep up with the latest trends. While it allows consumers to buy trendy clothes at low prices, it has significant environmental consequences. The fast fashion industry is a major contributor to water pollution, textile waste and greenhouse gas emissions. The production process often involves toxic chemicals that can harm aquatic life and human health. Additionally, the quick turnaround of fashion trends leads to a high turnover of clothing, resulting in massive amounts of textile waste. 
sustainable fashion practices such as choosing quality over quantity, recycling garments, and supporting brands that use eco-friendly production methods are essential steps toward mitigating the environmental impact of fast fashion. Let's go to the next topic. This topic is titled Biodiversity and its Importance. And the question is, why is preserving biodiversity essential? Biodiversity refers to the variety of life on Earth, including the different species of plants, animals and microorganisms, the genetic differences within these species and the ecosystems they form. High biodiversity is crucial as it contributes to ecosystem resilience, enabling environments to withstand and recover from disturbances like natural disasters or human activities. It also provides a wide range of services to humans, such as pollination of crops, purification of air and water, and discovery of new medicines. Loss of biodiversity, often caused by habitat destruction, climate change and pollution, threatens these services and the balance of ecosystems. Preserving biodiversity is essential for maintaining the health of our planet and the well-being of all who inhabit it. And that question one more time. Why is preserving biodiversity essential? Here are some possible answers. Try to answer the question now. Let's try and find the answer. Biodiversity refers to the variety of life on Earth, including the different species of plants, animals and microorganisms, the genetic differences within these species and the ecosystems they form. High biodiversity is crucial as it contributes to ecosystem resilience, enabling environments to withstand and recover from disturbances like natural disasters or human activities. It also provides a wide range of services to humans, such as pollination of crops, purification of air and water, and discovery of new medicines. Loss of biodiversity, often caused by habitat destruction, climate change and pollution, threatens these services and the balance of ecosystems. Preserving biodiversity is essential for maintaining the health of our planet and the well-being of all who inhabit it. Let's go on to the next topic. The next topic is community-led environmental projects. And the question is, what type of initiative can be a community-led environmental project? Community-led environmental projects are grassroots initiatives where local communities take action to address environmental issues in their areas. These projects can range from tree planting and community gardens to local recycling programs and conservation efforts. They empower residents to make a direct impact on their environment, fostering a sense of ownership and responsibility. Such projects often bring together diverse groups of people, building community bonds and raising environmental awareness. Additionally, they can lead to the development of sustainable practices that benefit both the environment and the community. By engaging in these projects, communities can play a crucial role in environmental preservation and sustainable development. And the question one more time, what type of initiative can be a community-led environmental project? Here are some possible answers. Try to answer the question now. Let's try and find the answer. Community-led environmental projects are grassroots initiatives where local communities take action to address environmental issues in their areas. These projects can range from tree planting and community gardens to local recycling programs and conservation efforts. They empower residents to make a direct impact on their environment, fostering a sense of ownership and responsibility. Such projects often bring together diverse groups of people, 
building community bonds and raising environmental awareness. Additionally, they can lead to the development of sustainable practices that benefit both the environment and the community. By engaging in these projects, communities can play a crucial role in environmental preservation and sustainable development. Do you want to practice your listening skills more? Check out this video, it's definitely going to help you.